Hey guys, welcome back to another video. In today's video, we are going to go through my Instagram DMs and see what is in there. I've been slacking on making these videos because I have literally been spending all my time focusing on my new reselling marketplace. It is called Keeping It Real. It is on the District app. I'll link a video down below explaining a little bit more about it. I will also have a link if you want to join. We have over 1,500 members now and it is literally the best community. So apparently something went down on Jamble the other night because I got a bunch of messages from you guys. I don't know how to pronounce it. It's X-E-N-I-A. Um, she actually applied to sell on my platform, the Keeping It Real Marketplace, and I accepted her. After I accepted her as a seller, I got a message from someone and they were like, hey, she was banned from whatnot for selling. Actually, I don't even know. I'm going to have to look back on my messages. I don't even, I don't know if they told me that she was banned for selling fakes or if she was just banned. I'll have to look back on my messages, but they told me that she was banned from whatnot, and I'm like, I'm all about second chances, you know, we gotta give second chances. She did not do a live show. I don't know if she had any listings. I'm not sure if she had any listings, but shit went down on Jamble the other night. Basically, she was doing a mystery show, and allegedly the stuff was fake. It's really funny to me, because I went in the show, like, for a moment, and it was really funny to me to see the people in the chat calling her out like saying hey you know this isn't authentic or whatever it's the same ones that were bitching at me for doing that isn't that funny how that works <laughs> oh that is rad you're such a bully for calling out someone during a live show saying that they're selling a fake but you know six months later i'm going to turn around and do the same exact thing they were like calling her out and then they tagged someone that works for jamble and surprisingly enough jamble shut down the show i was i was really surprised honestly um and then somebody commented i wish i would have got a screenshot of it but they were like you know jamble doesn't mess around jamble will ban you if you sell fakes and here i am like what literally laughing because <laughs> there are still sellers on jamble that have sold fakes um carly's closet for example i have talked about her in a couple of previous videos she was selling fakes she was told that she was selling fakes and yeah, she's still on Jamble, and in fact, she's going to be like a featured, I don't know, one of you guys sent me a message and said that Jamble is doing these shows weekly now or some shit where they like feature sellers, and Carly is going to be a featured seller, so that's fucking insane. Jamble likes to pick and choose who they ban for selling counterfeit items. There was another person that um, was friends with her, actually, I don't, I don't know if they were friends, but um, she got banned for selling fakes, but Carly got to stay. Carly got to stay on Jamble. It's like, oh, this person is allowed to sell counterfeits, but this person's not. So we're going to ban this person and not that person. It's really fucked up. And going back to this person, I don't know what her name is because like I said, she was a member of my platform, was, keyword was, and her username was completely different. But as soon as this happened, I was like, okay. And I literally logged in and banned her from my platform. So what I've come to learn with Jamble is that you are allowed to sell fakes on the app or, well, I don't know if Carly's still selling fakes, um, but she did. She did sell fakes on the app. That's a fact. I guess Jamble will give you a second chance maybe if you have enough friends on the app that'll write in and like threaten to leave. Jamble is so afraid to lose people. And I mean, the friggin' co-founder Imar told me that himself. His exact words were, we can't go kicking off everyone that helps Jamble thrive. I had a conversation with him about that. Um, you know, like these people that were doing shows where they were just like shit talking or playing my whole entire YouTube video during their live show and shit talking. Um, but yeah, according to Jamble, they can't go kicking off everyone that helps Jamble thrive. Is Jamble thriving? Jamble's a great place to go sell if you have stuff that you want to sell for super cheap. Like they have conditioned their sellers and buyers to do and expect $1 starts on everything. They encourage that. I mean, granted, you know, if you still live with mommy and daddy and you don't have bills, then yeah, okay, dollar starts. But in the real world, switching gears. So somebody sent me this article and I actually haven't read it. We're going to read it together. It's Wilmington CBP officers seize $151,000 in counterfeit designer brand name handbags. It's two weeks after seizing a shipment of counterfeit Lululemon belt bags, U.S. Customs and Border Protection officers in Wilmington, Delaware, seized a shipment of counterfeit designer brand name handbags. The counterfeit handbags, had they been genuine, would have been valued at $151,431. 
They initially inspected the shipment on September 4th after it arrived via express air cargo from China. That's not a red flag right there. The shipment, which was destined to an address in Newark, Delaware, consisted of 26 handbags bearing luxury brand names such as Chanel, Goyer, Gucci, Hermes, I don't know how to say that. Low, Louis, Louis, and Louis Vuitton. Officers suspected that the handbags may have been counterfeit and detained the shipment to verify the authenticity of the handbags' trademarks. And two weeks earlier, CBP officers in Wilmington seized 277 counterfeit Lululemon Everywhere belt bags valued at nearly $13,000 had they been authentic. Okay, hold on. We're gonna we're gonna go right to that article. Wilmington CBP officers collar counterfeit belt bags. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Some say that imitation is the sincerest form of flattery until that imitation runs afoul of the law. <laughs> U.S. Customs and Border Patrol officers seized 277 counterfeit Lululemon Everywhere belt bags recently in Delaware. Had they been authentic, they would have been worth about $13,000. The belt bags arrived in two separate shipments from China. Again, red fucking flag and were destined to the same address in Wilmington, Delaware. CBP officers inspected the shipments, the first on August 8th of 136 belt bags and the second on August 16th of 141 belt bags. Officers suspected that the Lululemon branding may have been used without authorization and detained the shipments to verify trademark authenticity. CBP officers submitted product documentation and photographs to the CBP trade experts at the Consumer Products and Mass Merchandising Center of Excellence and Expertise for analysis. CBP trade experts, or Vada's Rad, you could have just sent them to Vada's Rad, <laughs> verified that the Lululemon belt bags were counterfeit and subject to seizure pursuant to CBP's statutory and regulatory authorities. The scammer doesn't necessarily have to live in Delaware because they could be using that person in Delaware as a mule. I mean, that would be the smart thing to do, right? Not have them shipped directly to your house. FBI Detective Vadizrad is gonna come out full force and we're gonna, we're gonna. I'm telling you guys, you don't wanna be a part of whatnot when shit hits the fan. Shit will be hitting the fan. I'm done warning people though. I've warned people enough and now at, at this point, I'm honestly just gonna sit back and laugh. <laughs> That's it for today's video. If there's something that you want me to talk about, you can feel free to send me a DM on Instagram or send me an email. And yes, I will keep you anonymous. As always, comment down below, let me know your thoughts. Also make sure you guys are subscribed to this channel because I will be coming out with some crazy videos soon. Thank you guys so much for watching. I will talk to you guys in my next video. Bye.